Their quarterly consultative meeting, which focused on the off-cycle governorship elections in Edo and Ondo states, scheduled for September 21 and November 16, respectively, had representatives of 18 political parties. Yakobu, in his address, reiterated to party leaders the need to continue to maintain law and order during the electionary process and beyond. As we inch closer to election day in Edo state, it is also imperative to remind political parties of the need to adhere strictly to the timeline for the upload of the list of polling and collection agents to the dedicated portal. Doing so will enable the Commission to produce and deliver the identity cards in good time for the expected 76,823 polling unit agents and 3,587 ward, local government and state collection agents. He said the commission has already published the final list of candidates for a dual state governorship election following the conclusion of party primaries. The commission has already published the final list of candidates for the dual state governorship election following the conclusion of party primaries and the end of the period for withdrawal and substitution of candidates as provided in the timetable and schedule of activities for the election. The chairman inter-party advisory council, Yusuf, Dan Tali, on behalf of party leaders, advised the commission to conduct free, fair and credible elections. Our hard-earned democracy must be sustained. It should not be allowed to derail by the activities of anti-democratic and reactionary forces. INEC, leaders of political parties, civil society organizations, security agencies, the judiciary, the press, and citizens must be firm and decisive in protecting the nation's democracy and foster political upheaval. As elections in the two states approach, the Commission has decided to resume the continuous voter registration exercise in the two states to enable eligible citizens who are not registered voters to do so. This will also give an opportunity to those who registered but wish to transfer an opportunity to do so within the two states. Best Orator reporting for BTV News.